like, okay, I have summer now, but I still have to wake up at 7.30 every morning. It's about kids who want to take PE so they don't have to take it during this regular school year. Yeah, I'm actually really happy that they offered it, or else I wouldn't have been able to take Spanish too. I have this reading class I have to take, and it takes up one of my electives. So if I did not take this class, my Falcon Symphony with my instrumental music and all that would be gone. Yeah, I wanted to take a home economics class. Oh, you sweat it out now. Yeah, I don't, I don't like getting sweaty during school. It's not as fun. Yeah. So they're, they're here for 15 consecutive days, three and a half hours, and that's equivalent to the same as 90 regular 45 to 50 minute class periods. Yeah, the teachers, they can get pretty strict. I've heard that it's pretty tough, like boot camp tough. Is that you? But it is pretty rigorous. We start off running. We have to um, get them in shape quickly. They have 15 days to improve their mile and a half time, so it's pretty tough. We start out running four sets of five minutes consecutively with one minute's rest, so that kind of throws a lot of kids for a loop. But the cool thing is they get to do different things. They get to golf, we have go on a hike, we have bowling, we have tennis. It can be tough, but it's a, it's good exercise because a lot of times kids just sit around during the summer, so it's good to get out there and play and do sports and stuff. The most challenging thing they've had us do is probably run. <laughs> um, they, every morning we have to run more and more each five, each day. Are there days where you just want to say, all right, instructors, I'm going to tell you what you have to do now. <laughs> and what would you make them do? Uh, <laughs> well, that's a whole nother story, but I don't want to go into it. <laughs> you haven't been graded yet, so you have to be careful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, I just like uh, showing them that, hey, you know, it's some fun activities like fitness for life. That's always how I, I like to teach is, hey, tennis, it's an activity you can do. Seventy years old, you can do it. Golf. I know people that try to shoot their age, 87. I'd love to live to be 87 years old and shooting 87 in golf. I'd love that. You know, I want them to say, oh, instead of going date night, let's say dinner and a movie, go to dinner and bowling. Or bowling and, and then eat at the bowling alley. Teaching, you know, I love it. I mean, I love showing kids how much I enjoy. I have a passion for sports activity, you know. So I think, I, I hopefully it rubbed my enthusiasm rubs off on them.